I never come on live no more. I never come on live no more. Mostly because I've been suffering for the last three months. In constant pain. But. How's your teeth? I know a lot of people are going to ask me that throughout this. I'll wait until more people get in here if they're coming. Eh, no, they're not. Um. My teeth are still kind of the same. I still have nerve damage. I just got acupuncture the other day. And I feel like it's helped with like a lot of, like I've had like a lot of um, tension and stuff in my jaw because, um, how can I say? My teeth feel like chalk rubbing together. So I like don't close my mouth. And when I do, it's like super uncomfortable, which is why everybody's like, you know, it sounds like you have a lisp now, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, why is this track not so new? Oh my goodness, that is ghetto, honey. Let me just go in ahead and tuck it in. <laughs> Let me just tuck that right on in there. Um, but yeah, y'all, it's been pretty bad. But you know what? I I I feel like. It's kind of like put me, will the lisp go away? I don't know. I freaking hope so because I cannot talk. Like I'm always messing up words. Like it's just like my tongue against my teeth is so uncomfortable. I'm going to my friend's house, y'all. We about to go lay by the pool. But it's so much traffic. Yeah, honestly, this situation with my teeth is fucking terrible. Like, honestly, it's one of the worst things I've ever gone through physically. Because it's just drawn out for hella long. And the fact that I paid for this is what really gets me mad. The, the, the place who did it has me blocked on Instagram. All of their comments are limited. Can no, can't nobody comment on their um, pictures, you know, talking about what they did to me. Um, yeah, they just don't care. And I'm about to get them redone. Hopefully in like a couple, it seems like I'm going slow as well. I am going hella slow because I'm in traffic. But, um, I'm going to get them redone once my nervous system calms down. Um, so yeah. Someone said, I'm glad you're bringing awareness. I had no clue that could happen. Honestly, I didn't even know that this could happen. I had no idea this could happen. Like, <clears throat> it's just crazy because I'm, I'm looking back and I'm like, I wanted to get my teeth redone for hella long because I'd had them for six years. And it was just time. Like, you know, it was time. Like, I had chipped teeth. They were, like, not all the same color. They weren't as white as I wanted them. They didn't go as far back as I wanted them. Like, I only had eight on top eight on bottom now i got 10 on top and 10 on bottom and i'm like looking back at the situation like i don't know i don't know sarah oliver wanted to get in contact with you yes she did get in contact with me she sent me a um a DM with like this prescription like toothpaste that she had used before so thanks for her, to her for that I ordered it in the mail oh that probably is what was in my package today I got it in the mail today I think I didn't open the packages but um hopefully um yeah am I suing them so a lot of people are like why don't you just sue them why don't you just sue them it's really hard to sue for dental malpractice i'm going to try after i after i go to the neurologist and they basically tell me okay you have nerve damage caused from getting your teeth redone like it has to be caught because of that then i'll like be able to like really like in stone sue them which is crazy because they should have just given me my damn money back but they, to they told me that they weren't giving my money back unless I flew to Miami and let them drill my teeth off. I can't even make this up. I was like, are y'all on drugs? Like, you think I'm about to let you drill my teeth off? When the first time they drilled my teeth off, y'all, bro, they were drilling my teeth off 
and the lady stops halfway gets up and leaves the room don't even say nothing i have a picture of me sitting in the freaking chair with my teeth half drilled off alone in the room i didn't even say nothing i said where did she go what they were saying oh she wasn't feeling good she because she's pregnant babe i understand spanish didn't nobody say nothing about no damn i don't feel good i'm feeling nauseous or nothing she didn't say anything she just got up and left the room and keep in mind she got up and left the room while i'm sitting there bawling my eyes out crying because the numbing medication wasn't working so really what i think it was was she was irritated that i was crying that's how they that's how they did me bro and that's like one out of like a hundred things but it is what it is but you know i'm trying to like focus on the positives my second book is about to be done it's done pretty much it's done i'm about to start the rollout y'all i'm pretty i'm almost 100 percent sure the book is dropping on october 1st y'all please mark it in your cam calendars because i i think that i'm really gonna 100 percent drop it on october 1st is everything if everything goes as planned which i'm sure it will it's gonna be dropping october 1st um so i'm excited about that and i'm just trying to focus on the positive i just got a new house I got a new townhouse I'm really happy about like I've been wanting a townhouse for a really long time and it's been super hard to find hard to find one in LA like in the area I wanted it and even though it like feels like there's so many like bad things happening like I feel like I'm just really trying to focus on the positive because I just feel like this whole teeth situation really has thrown me into a depression and I'm like I would just I refuse I'm like not gonna give into that like no I'm not so you know i felt like i was depressed so i just was like let me get in the gym you know really try to work on my body and my mental health because like you know working out is good <sighs> i'm just trying really hard like i feel like you know if you guys are ever feeling depressed like because i I've, I've um experienced depression multiple times throughout the years it's like you could really just do one or two two things like you could really just let it win and take over you or you could really fight back and like it's really hard to fight back but i'm not giving into that because i worked for a really long time to become happy and i'm not about to let these people put me in a really dark space you get what i mean even though i've already been there tell us about your prison visit when you went to see Grayson. I'm actually about to go see Grayson um the day after tomorrow too. But um our, the prison visit you want to know about it? So I drove to the jail. It was 3 hours away. Did I talk about this ever? I don't know if I did. Drove to the jail it was like 3 hours away in some bumfuck ass town. I was actually scared because I looked it up and apparently it's a high crime rate out there. Go figure, like right where the prison is. Um, you have to like leave everything in the car. Like you gotta leave your phone in the car, everything in the car. And he was like, oh, can you bring um, quarters up here? And I'm like, what the hell do you need quarters for? I'm thinking, ooh, fucking paper towels in here. I can't even touch paper towels, y'all. Um, You can't bring your phone, whatever. So like, he was like, bring up, bring quarters. I'm like, what do you need quarters for? He's like, oh, vending machines. Like, we get to, um, we get to, like, get vending machine food, like, when you come. So, whatever I got there. And I was like, I knew I was going to cry. But, like, I broke down crying. He was like, I knew you were going to cry. He was like, this is why I don't want y'all coming up here. Because I just, you know, I don't want to see you guys cry. But it was cool. I'm going back on Saturday. That was some months ago. Um, and he's doing really good he's actually about to get transferred to a new prison that's like i guess for people who are doing good which i'm shocked okay i'm shocked that he's doing good because okay <laughs> like i don't know he's not really like a fighting type of person though so i guess that's kind of why like he's not like you know like hella overly aggressive And you know, people be in jail fighting this shit.
<laughs> Ryan. He's a changed man. LOL, he always been chill. Yeah, no, he has always been chill. He just hasn't always been smart, so. <laughs> he always hasn't made the best decisions, you know? But yeah, he is super chill. And he's in there with his friends, so. this thing traffic in LA is crazy Ryan I'm moving into my new place in like two weeks and then I'm gonna have a housewarming are you gonna come out here for it it's not gonna be crazy like I think I'm just gonna have like girls like you know girlfriends shit I'm down about four friends <laughs> all them bitches can go to hell Yeah, that's another thing. I've experienced so much loss this year. Like, death-wise, friend-wise, like, everything. Money-wise, shoot. I've had to pay for so much damn stuff. It's, like, not even funny. Are my nerves doing better? No. <clears throat> Are you guys excited for my second book, though? Do you guys... Can you guys tell me what you think it's called? I'm just curious what you guys say it's called. I already have the title. I'm going to, like, announce the title, but I want to know what y'all think it's called. Who the fuck is texting me? You look, you look cute on live, but what's up with our link up? <laughs> Who is watching me? I don't even have that number saved. But wait, yeah, tell me what y'all think it's going to be called. Y'all can't even guess. Boring. Some people are guessing. It's called See, I Was Wrong. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why you guys keep asking me about what happened with me and Shy. We're not friends anymore. That's what happened. I'm not gonna tell y'all what happened in in the situation. Like, I don't know why y'all always ask me these damn questions. I, in how many years have I told y'all if I've ever quit talking to somebody or cut people off or anything, have I told y'all the situation one time? Because the, the girl was psycho and was going on YouTube, making up lies and telling different stories. I'm not. I don't tell my personal, you know, business. I don't put people's business out there. After we quit being friends like that's just never been my body like i think that's really super lame like when people fall out and then they just get online talking about each other i have nothing bad to say so i said like you told us what happened with lauren though i never told you guys what happened with lauren ever or maybe i did and I'm pretty sure I asked her beforehand. I said, can I make a story? I think I I texted her. I said, hey, I'm going to make a story time about it because people keep asking, do you mind? I'm pretty sure that was the case because me and her were cordial. And even then, I didn't tell y'all everything. I don't be telling y'all all my business. Like, 